Welcome to the Republican Party Victory Headquarters as we are all working hard to make sure Republicans get elected up and down the ballot this November. Uh, one uh, big part of that is uh, working with our candidates uh, and uh, I also want to thank everybody for the work that you guys have done over this last, I don't know, year and a half as volunteers. Uh, I hope you guys get used to this building. Uh, we're going to be calling you uh, to come here and volunteer to make phone calls, to knock doors. Um, so now you know where our headquarters is at. Um, with that, I will introduce our governor, Jeff Collier. Okay. Now, this is a great election. We're going to have a lot of fun. This is going to be a very important election. But what I really want to say is I think we should say a big thank you to the staff of the Republican Party who have been the infrastructure of this. Can we give them all a big thank you? the real juice, the juice of every party, is the people. It's about Republicans. It's about all of us who have ideas, who have energy, who have excitement. It's about winning elections. And I want to say thank you to all of these tremendous volunteers that we have out here today. Great to see you. We got him from a couple of months old with his own elephant pacifier. <laughs> and you know what? We even we even had a hundred year old out there that I've heard right. about. So it's a tremendous day. We have a lot of races across the state. When I came in as Lieutenant Governor in our first race there, we were interested in the clean sweep. And that's what this is about. This is about a clean sweep for all of our Republican seats. You know, so far, we're 32 and 0 on that. And we want to keep that up to 64 and 0 over the next eight years. Yeah. So we've had a lot of very spirited primaries. And you know what? We have, all of us have learned a tremendous amount. The, the state is the better for it because all of us had ideals, ideas, energy, and excitement. And those, being able to bring those into the general election is what this is all about. We're going to be here. We're going to be fully supporting Chris. You all know that. I know Chris would support me. We are out there. We're going to be fighting for this race because it is so important that we have a Republican governor over the next eight years. We need a Republican governor because Kansas has become the pro-life state and there are threats to that. We need a Republican governor to lead us as a pro-life state. We need a Republican governor to keep our taxes low. We need a Republican governor who will build and work with all of our Republicans so that we win the House, the Senate, we want to make sure that we win our four congressional seats and all of our statewide. That's why we need a Republican governor. So I want to say thank you for all of you. I want to thank you for your service because that's who we are. We're Kansans, and we've talked about this. Service in the spirit of America, the spirit of Kansas, it is right here. That's why I'm so passionate about this state. That's why I'm passionate that we win this election. And so I am very proud to introduce to you somebody we will all fight together with in order to get elected in just a few short weeks, the next governor of the great state of Kansas, Chris Kobach.
Let's see, Lily, you want to come up and uh, get the whole family? And where's Wink and Libba? <laughs> All right, may as well get everybody up here. Well, thank you uh, so much, Jeff, for your very kind words. And I want to um, just express my, my profound gratitude for, to Jeff for his conciliatory, gentlemanly, and gracious uh, words and his, his decision, uh, which was a really important decision uh, two nights ago, uh, not to extend this race as he could have, and he certainly would have every right to have, but instead to say, look, our scrimmage is done. We now are a united team. We are Republicans, and we are fighting together for the conservative causes that we believe in. And thank you, Jeff, so much. And, and I want to say something else about uh, Jeff's decision, and, and it's something that I'm sure all of us reflect upon at, t at times in our lives. Um, it shows that he serves a cause greater than himself, and that is that the conservative principles, the Republican principles that we believe uh, are so important to our state and so important to our country, that those are more important than any one individual's faith, than any one individual's career, than any one individual's uh, situation in any given day. And, and I certainly believe that, and I'm sure many of the people in this room believe that, because because those principles, those causes are going to be around long after we are all dead and gone. That we want to put those principles above us and put those principles and show our kids, show our grandchildren uh, that these principles are so important that we fight for them. We don't fight for our own self-interest. And so again, uh, it shows the character of the man and I really, really appreciate uh, Jeff's character. One thing we know about Kansas election history is that when, when Republicans in Kansas are divided, Republicans in Kansas lose. But when Republicans in Kansas are united, Republicans in Kansas are unstoppable. And that's what we're We saw that in 2010 and 2014 with the clean sweep campaigns, which Jeff was just alluding to. When we are united, we are pushing forward as a united red wall in this state. It is an immovable, it is an unresistible force in the elections, and that's what we're going to see uh, in the 2018 election as well. We're all uniting. Some of us have been on opposing sides uh, in some of these primary battles, both statewide and, and district battles, but now we're all coming together stronger after the primary, not weaker, stronger and going after our Democrat opponents and independent liberal opponents as well. But we are unified. <laughs> we, we are unified for a Kansas that is pro-life. Are we not? Yeah. And, and unified, we are going to fight for a Kansas that upholds our Second Amendment rights, correct? Yeah. Republicans are going to fight for lower taxes. Yeah. Unified, Republicans are going to fight to reduce the size of government. Yeah. And unified, Republicans are going to fight for a system where an, unelect where an unelected Supreme Court no longer tells the people's representatives how much money to spend. Yeah. There are many, many other principles that unite Republicans in this room. And that's the amazing thing about our party. Our party is, it has shared principles. These have been in our platform so long. And the vast majority of Republicans agree on 95% of those principles. We, do, we are not the party that is riven by the kind of disunity that sometimes we see on the other side. We actually have a core of shared principles that animate us and that energize us. And one of the things that we've been seeing in the national media nationally is about, oh, the blue wave is coming. The blue wave is going to hit all these states, just like in many past presidential uh, election years, two years after a president takes office. That wave is going to hit, and his poor party is going to be defeated. Well, let me tell you, when that blue wave approaches Kansas, it's going to hit a rock-hard red wall. <laughs> getting ready as one team after a very vigorous scrimmage we're getting ready for the big battle ahead and in the governor's race we face a liberal progressive senator who is the protege of Kathleen Sebelius 
uh, whose views on many subjects are socialist, and who has a left-wing vision of Kansans that we will not allow to become reality. Yeah. And we also face a so-called independent whose views are so far to the left that the Democrat Party in 2014 pulled their own candidate off the ballot because he would be a better Democrat than the person who won the election would be. We are not going to let voters forget that. Yeah. We are not going to let him deceive voters by pretending that he is not the Democrat that he's always been. We're not going to let them forget that he has donated to Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama. We're not going to let them forget that he's pro-abortion, that he's pro-gun control, and that he's pro-amnesty. This is an election between a conservative who shares the principles of the people in this room and two liberal opponents, and in this election, the conservative principles are going to win. So it's really hot in here, and I'm not going to keep the labor at this point. So I'm simply going to, it's about 82 degrees in here, and it just so happens that there are 82 days left in this campaign. So I am asking everyone to mark your calendar for the next 82 days and spend some time, spend a little time, or spend a lot of time with us on the campaign trail, because if we march together, we will be that red wall, and we will make sure that our conservative principles win in November.